Oh, it is. And that's what I tell girls all the time. They're like, can you help me start dancing and, you know, tell me about it? I'm like, it's not for everybody. You really got to have a strong fucking mind or you're going to be stuck in that lifestyle forever. This shit is, yeah. You know? Because it'll consume you. I've seen it. I've seen it. I was in for seven years. I've seen bitches. And bitches didn't have anything to show for it. Because it's so much. The money's so fucking fast. Yeah. That the, con- the mindset becomes... I could spend it today and get it back tonight. Yeah, they would not have a car. They would not have a house. They would work doubles. I'm I, when I danced, I worked three days a week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That was my days. I never worked on the weekends. I wanted to go out on the weekends, so I only worked Monday, the Tuesday, Wednesday. Then these girls would be there seven days a week working and still not have a car. And so I'm like, how? Yeah. I'm, what are you doing with your money? Are they making money? Yeah, but they're giving it to a pimp, or they have drug problem, or they have a pro- shopping problem, or they have kids, or sending it back home. You know what I'm saying? But they just—it's like they never like elevated in there. Like they just like was in there just for the fucking fun of it. Anybody ever try to pimp you? Oh yeah, definitely. For real. Every day, yeah. Follies is full of pimps. You look—you look like Sauce Walker type. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely in my DMs too. He like he, but he was always giving me props and shit. He never like tried me like yeah. on that shit. But um, a lot of pimps respected me. Like they like, they didn't really like want me to like give them money. They just they kind of wanted me to like put their other girls on game. You know what I'm saying? And teach them how to get money. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But um, there was a lot of pimps and follies. But uh, that's one thing I take pride in. I never had a pimp. Um, but I understand the whole situation. I'm, I mean, for me, I think it's a partnership. A lot of these bitches are fucking lost and they need some fucking guidance, Mm -hmm. you know, and it's a transaction. You help me to help you, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't need help. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I come from a good family. If I ever needed someone to have my back, my parents got my back and then I have my sister. So we were a team, you know, I didn't need nobody. I didn't need nobody to put me on my neck and go to the gas station and get money. It's it's, it's different when you feel lonely and you feel like you ain't got nobody. Yeah. Or what to do with the money. And yeah. yeah, And so that's where the pimps come in. It's that structure. Yeah. It's that structure. And And so I never like was against the pimping thing. You know, it just wasn't for me because I didn't need it. But I think a lot of times when it comes to like pimping, I think people think that it's, it's this, this old school gorilla pimp mentality where it's like, right. Girls are just in fear of the man. No, that's not the case. A lot of times they be in love. That, their pimp. No, like that's what the pimps do is they make them fall in love. Yeah. And that's why all the, the girls give them all their money. I mean, I don't really sit, I don't really think that's like good. Like, I I mean, I, I'll i give you money to help me help you, but mm-hmm. I'm not giving you everything. I mean, that's not how, like, you know, you business give me works. Money and I give you back what I want to give you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. I'll buy you something with it. Yeah, yeah cool. right. I'll get your nails done with that shit. Like, yeah. no, no, I'm good. I'll yeah. buy you something. How about that? That's the thing, but 